Aloha, Sandra here. I am surrounded on three sides by the ocean, which has inspired me to share with you a wave movement. Now, often when we wave our hands, we just kind of go, hello, right? Probably don't put a lot of thought into it, but today it's an opportunity to increase your movement vocabulary by learning what I call the parade wave. When I was a kid, I had no idea how to do this. And now I realize how it's an important skill for wrist health because a lot of times we just move our hands and without really focusing on where and how, which is actually fine if we have a good movement vocabulary that we can move from all different parts. And I've discovered a lot of people have a lot of trouble moving from the wrist. They often move from the fingers and they think they're moving their wrist. So this parade wave is teaching you more so how to move from the junction of where your wrist and forearm come together. And I recommend you try doing it slowly first by moving your forearm one way. You can give it a little tap like that and then moving it the other way and so you see if you move the forearm right where it begins the wrist begins the wrist is going to move so instead of thinking of the movement coming from the fingers or even the hand what happens if you bring it back and forth from the forearm it may take a little practice one thing I like to do is hold my elbow by the side so when I do it I'm not moving the elbow, at least to build the practice. And then when I get better at it, how do you turn it into a wave? That's when you begin to take your forearm side to side. And then it comes pretty smooth. You can try on the other hand. And then if you want to challenge yourself, you can then begin to do it in different directions. Further away from your brain actually is a little harder than close to your brain. Can you do both hands? Can you do both hands opposite directions? Both hands same direction? All sorts of different ways to play with it. Moving the elbows, not moving the elbows, but just getting that sense of the wave and maybe you put even a spinal wave into it as you do it. Anyways, just play with it, enjoy. Great to increase your movement vocabulary. Thanks for watching. You can see more at raziyoga.com.